Yeah, let's talk about how do we uh, add, subtract, uh, and multiply, actually, to uh, matrices. It's uh, probably maybe what, what you'd expect, but uh, maybe not a multiply, but adding and subtracting is just about. <coughs> Yeah, first note on adding matrices is to add matrices, they have to have, they have to be equal in size. In other words, um, they have to have the same dimensions. <clears throat> row and row and columns, same same row, same number of rows, same number of columns. Um, for example, if I have A is 7, 2, 3, negative 1, 5, negative 4, B is 8, 2, negative 5, 6, negative 2, negative 3, and then C is 4, 1, 6, 8, and 7, negative 1, those are the rows of C. Hopefully, obviously there, B and C have the same dimension. <coughs> this is a, and remember it's uh, row times your columns is how it's usually listed. So the dimension of this, we have two rows, three columns. So this is a two by three. <coughs> two rows, three columns. So this is a two by three. But this one is what? Three by two. Three rows, two columns. So when we're adding and subtracting, as far as that goes, we can only add A and B. We can't add or sub and subtract. Uh, we can't add or subtract C to these others, uh, A or B there. So we can add the A and the B, but we can't add the C. So that is one first note there. All right, so let, how do we do that? Well, like I said, it's fairly straightforward as far as adding goes. <clears throat> Multiplying is a little, a little bit trickier, but to add them, you just add the, the corresponding entry. So to add A plus B, we do 7 plus 8. That would be 15. The 2 plus the 2, and we go in the next one, so that would be 4. 3 plus the negative 5, negative 2. And then we do the same thing on the second row. Negative 1 plus the 6, give me 5. 5 plus the negative 2 is 3, and then negative 4 plus the negative 3 gives me negative 7. So you wind up with uh, 15, 4, negative 2, 5, 3, and negative 7. It would be A plus B. So you just add entry by entry. What about subtraction? Same thing, except you're going to subtract a, the A entry minus the B entry, so that would be 7 <coughs> minus 8, and negative 1 would be the first one. Then we'd have 2 minus 2, so that would be 0 for the second one. Then 3 minus negative 5, that would be uh, 8. eight yeah. And then negative 1 minus 6 is negative 7. 5 minus negative 2 should be 7. And then negative 4 minus negative 3, negative 1. So it's negative 1, 0, 8, negative 7, 7, negative 1. And you don't have to write all that stuff. I'm just writing it out so you can see what, see what we got there. Okay, so adding subtracting is fairly, fairly nice. Now, one other thing we can do that's fairly nice is uh, multiply just a. Oops, I should have kept my. I'm going to use the same 
same two here. I didn't mean to erase them. So it's seven, two, three, negative one, five, negative four. And B is eight, two, negative five, six, negative two, negative three. <coughs> One other thing we do is it's called a uh, scalar multiplication, but <clears throat> we can multiply uh, a matrix by just a, just a number. <clears throat> In this case, four times a, <coughs> and it's just what you would think. You're just multiplying each entry by a number by four. So four a would be twenty-eight, eight, and twelve. Negative four, twenty, and negative sixteen. Okay. Called a scalar, scalar multiplication, because we're just multiplying by by just a number. All right. Now, the one thing, not too, too complicated, but uh, what do you think we do there? Four a minus five b. Well, we've got the four a. Twenty eight, eight, twelve. Negative 4, 20, and negative 16. But we're going to subtract from that 5b. So what would 5b be? Well, it's just 5 times that one, right? Uh, 40, uh, 10, negative 20, uh, 30, negative 10, negative 15. So I'm just multiplying each entry on the b one by 5. And then I'm going to subtract those two, which we just talked about. To subtract, you just subtract entry by entry. So what do we got? 28 minus 40 is negative 12. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. 12 minus negative 20 is 32. Negative 4 minus 30 is negative 34. <coughs> 20 minus a negative 10. Be sure to keep up with the signs though. Positive 30 be that one. And then negative 16 minus a negative 15 be a negative 1. I'll do that right? Believe that? Except, I missed something. I missed this one. What should this one be? Negative 25, yeah. I was just checking. Called me on that. that. Yeah. This should be a negative 25 because you got 5 times negative 5. I don't know where I got negative 20 out of that. So that would make this one what? 12 minus negative 25 should be 37. Now we good? Look okay? Question or concern? So those are very nice, fairly uh, straightforward. <clears throat> the multiplication, uh, when you multiply two matrices, it gets a little, a little more complicated. So let's talk about that. Now, whereas uh, adding matrices, they have to have exactly the same dimension, that's not the case in uh, multiplying matrices. They may not have the same, but there, there has to be uh, one thing that <clears throat> has to be matching, and it's not, they don't have to be equal. I mean, you can multiply the same size, uh, they're square anyway. <coughs> anyway, here, here's what it is. If A is M by N, so you've got M rows and N columns, and B is N by P, so N rows and P columns, then A times B is, so that, <coughs> this is a scenario when you can multiply, so notice they may not be matching as far as uh, rows and columns are because M and N could be different, N and P, those are different. But what is matching here? Well, yeah, the N's here are the same. But notice one's the columns, the other's the rows. So the columns of the first 
had to match the rows of the second. That's what this says. <coughs> so what you wind up with is an M by P matrix. And I'll show you how that works. But that's the first thing to note here. The rows of the first, I'm sorry, the columns of the first match matches the rows of the second. And you'll see why. Way to multiply. To multiply. If that's not. <clears throat> if that is not the case, you can't multiply. If the rows of the first, uh, if the columns of the first don't match the rows of the second, you can't multiply. You'll see why here in a second. Okay, so it's not that they're the same size, it's just the columns here match the rows here. The others may not match. <laughs> All right, so let me just show you here with, uh, with an example or two. So let's say A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then B is 7, 8, row 1, and then row 2 is 9, 10. <coughs> so I've got here, this is three rows, two columns. And this is two rows, two columns. So we've got, got the proper uh, dimensions matching. Columns here match the rows here. <coughs> for multiplication. So let's talk about what A times B is. Well, what it uh, amounts to is I'm going to take the rows, so I start with A, so I take the, each row of A and multiply it by both columns, in this case, the columns of the B. So that's why the row, the columns uh, and the rows have to, like that have to map. So I take each row here and multiply it by the column over here. So here, here's what it, that means. So I'm going to take row one, the entries there, and multiply it by <clears throat> the column entries over here. So it's one times seven plus two times nine. See what I did there? First row times the first column. 1 times 7, and then 2 times 9. That's the way it works, the way multiply works. All right, now I do the same thing with column 2. So I take the 1, 2 row and multiply it by the 8, 10 column. So that would be 1 times 8 plus 2 times 10. the second entry in that. And we'll multiply it all out here in a second. All right? But now we're going to go do the same thing for row two. So that was <laughs> that was row one with uh, the columns of B. <coughs> so now we move on to row two of A. So we take row two of A, multiply it by both columns of B. So it would be what? Three times seven plus four times A, be the first one. And then the three, four row times the other column would be, so it'd be three times A plus four times 10. <clears throat> okay, hold on. On the top one we did one times seven and then one uh, two times nine. Is oh, did correct? I mess it up? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't seem like it's a pattern to me. Oh, okay. That's right. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Just checking. Yeah. All right. So that was row 2 of A plus uh, multiplied by the columns of B. So we've got another row of A. So we've got to do that very same thing with 
the third row of A. So take the third row of A times each column of B. So it's 5 times 7 is <coughs> 6 times 9. And then 5 times 8 plus 6 times 10. And so that will give us what? Uh, <coughs> 7 plus 18, so that's 25. 8 plus 20, so that's 28. 21 plus 36, 57. 24 plus 40, 64. 35 plus 54, 89. And then 40 plus 60, Okay, and so yeah, we wound up with three rows, two columns, which is exactly what you said originally. What you wind up with is a three by two when you multiply it. Now, note, note this. If I have A is 7, negative 5, negative 3, 1, and B is 6, negative 4, 2, negative 5. What's A times B there? Because this is a 2 by 2 and a 2 by 2. Those are obviously going to be able to multiply. Um, <clears throat> All right, so A times B. So I take, take this. I would take first row of A times both columns of B. That will give me my first two, two entries here. So it'd be 7 times the 6 plus the negative 5 times the 2. Then I do the same thing with row 1 here, but times the second column of B. So it'd be 7 times negative 4 plus then negative 5 times negative 5. And then do it all over again because I got a second row of A. Take the second row of A times both columns over here. So that'll be negative 3 times 6 plus 1 times 2, and then negative 3 times negative 4 plus uh, 1 times negative 5. 42 minus 10 is 32, negative 28 plus 25 is negative 3. Negative 18 plus 2 is negative 16, 12 minus 5, 7. Is that right? Check it out. What I was going to show you was, you think that would be the same thing? So that's A times B. What about B times A? Well, you're swapping. Swap, swapping them out, aren't you? So B times A, I would take 6, negative 4, 2, negative 5 times the 7, negative 5, negative 3, and 1. <coughs> so for one thing, that's definitely not starting off the same because you got row the first row here times the uh, two columns over here, right? So you have 6 times 7 plus the negative 4 times negative 3. Be the first uh, entry there. And then I take the row times the other column, so it would be 6 times negative 5 plus negative 4 times 1. Yeah, those aren't going to give me the same entry time. And then <coughs> do the same thing for row 2. two negative 5 times the two columns over here, so I'd be 2 times 7 
plus negative 5 times negative 3. And then 2 times negative 5 plus negative 5 times 1. So we get 42 plus 12, 57. Negative 30 minus 4 is negative 34. 14 plus 15 is 29. And then negative 10 minus 5 is negative 15. Does that sound right? Do those right? <coughs> Can't add. 42 plus 12 is 52. Not 57. So the point is here, <coughs> the order matters on multiplying. A times B does not equal B times A in general, in matrices. So uh, that's the commutative property. It is not commutative. Multiplication is not commutative. Um, addition would be commutative uh, out of the three we've talked about, but multiplication isn't uh, commutative. Um, any questions on that? <clears throat> the only, like I said, the, the other thing I would mention is, again, that's why, so if I tried, uh, what was my first two back here? Um, <coughs> back to these first two. <clears throat> so this is a three by two, and this is a two by two. So could I even do B times A? We did A times B on those, but could we do B times A? Well, this is a two by two, and this is a three by two. To the proper dimensions. Yeah. For, for multiplication to work, these two have to be the same, don't they? The columns here have to match the rows here. So if you've got, if those two things don't match, you can't do the multiplying. I, I mentioned that, but um, yeah, you cannot multiply these in this order. You can do the A times B, but not the B times A. <clears throat> just can't, just, just won't match up. All right, well. <clears throat>